hang and fellow Samoros and this is another episode of Yakuza 4 and in today's episode we are we are in a sewer. We got here last episode trying to help an old man dig a tunnel. And now we are fucking stuck here because I don't get to leave. Why don't I get to leave? Because oh plus the garbage nice. Because apparently I need to ask around about the fucking info broker. Do you know the info broker? Hey man, looking for something to eat? Wait, you don't have any points. Points? Don't you guys take money? Nope, we only take special points to use down here in the underground. If you want to learn more about them, go ask the guy at the top of the stairs over there. Because Japan really has like underground societies, like people living in the fucking sewers and... and shit like that. The Japanese government like not giving a fuck about homeless people running their own fucking... micro countries. With their own currency and shit. The fuck is this? Is some people selling stuff, not paying any taxes, not like, I don't know, distribu distributing yen or anything. Nothing, it's just fucking. Just a bunch of old fucking kooks in a fucking sewer. Alright, you look important ish. I look like the merchant from Resident Evil 4, except fucking stupid. Hey there, buddy, not too often I see a guy like you down in a place like this. Most of us look fucking stupid, you look kind of scary though. Let me guess, you're concerned about the slow deterioration of our natural environment. So if you come to me, the expert on the all things grassy and green. No, actually, I don't give a fuck. Relax, big guy, I won't bite. I got a mask for that. But I'll drop a big old knowledge bomb on you. You know how much trash gets collected in Kamarocha in a year? 22 tons, 1000 tons, 60 tons every single day. That's as much as two humpback whales every day. And that doesn't include the litter strewn around town that nobody bothers to pick up, which, trust me, is a lot. So I've devoted my life to making this city as clean as possible. Yes. And? Why do I fucking care? What's any of this have to do with me? Alright. Oh, Around here they call me the m mean green machine, no matter how high the trash stacks, I'll always be there to whisk it away. Speaking of, trash has something of a special value down here in the underground, because we're all trash. What do you mean value? The fuck do you mean value? Please tell me. I need to hear it. You heard me, down here trash makes the world go around. Dish your cash, bring me some trash. Well, that's a cool line. I'll uh, praise whatever bits of trash you give me and give you the appropriate number of points. Points are like our money, mind you. Here, take this. With points, you can buy all sorts of stuff items, food, equipment. Though, of course, the only applies to the shops we run down here sewers. Uh, keep in mind, any trash you got is worthless until I get my hands on it. Go away, I don't keep you off or anything. One more thing, just cause you never a piece of trash doesn't I mean it's gone forever, so I'm just bound to put it over again in the same spot if you wait long enough. Anyway, don't you start with that little speck of... Why don't you tr start with that trash I left over there? Fucking already have trash picked up. Boxy garbage, you're a fucking boxy garbage. Thanks for stopping by, what can I f trash for you? I praise trash. No, I praise both of them, why do I have to do it one at a fucking time? Oh, I don't. Oh, never mind. Come back when you get your hands on some more trash. Don't forget to have a clean day. I can assure you, I'll never be back. Even if I do pick up some trash, I'll fucking throw it away. So, let's this episode. Maybe if you didn't watch the last episode all the way through, let's go back here and uh, dig a tunnel. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. We dug this tunnel, tunnel last episode, and then we tried to dig a tunnel here, but then it didn't really work out because, well, this tunnel doesn't lead anywhere, so it was a dead end. Because you know, when you dig underground, you obviously expect to just run into another fucking tunnel, and you know, fucking, so you don't have to dig anything. You just have to basically break a wall. Hey, Saijima, so I know why you're here. You want to know about revelations, right? I was just walking around the Kamarocha Central parking lot and I heard some kids saying something about a professional killer. 
in the area. Might be something there worth investigating. Why don't you go have a look? Have a little look, see. What is this? Like, oh, it's a sledgehammer. Oh, it's like some weird shiny gemstone. Yeah, I want to dig a tunnel. <gasps> air raid number one south. You'll be digging air raid shelter number one south. Yes, I will. Do I get to dig this time? Because I prefer to dig than to defend you when you dig. I'll be the... Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think I even have any health left. You son of a bitch, you fucked me over. Uh. Hey, Grandpa, find that buried treasure yet? Oh. <laughs> Another striped, actually two striped sweater, motherfuckers. Again, leave me alone, you bunch of hooligans. Lucky still with that guy from the other day who kicked our fucking asses. Talk about lucky. I brought some friends with me this time. How about we have a little party? An eye for an eye, that's just common sense, ain't it right? <laughs> if you genuinely follow the rule eye for an eye in life, then you're fucking insane. <laughs> oh, we dug our own grave, that's a good one. Oh, so close, too. Jesus, keep on digging. Bitch, keep on wiggling that butt. These punks got no right to crush your dreams, just keep on believing. But... I can take out the trash on my own, cause uh, I'm a mean green machine. Got your back, so just keep swinging that pickaxe. And don't snap in half, old man. Alright, I'll leave it to you. No problemo. The hell you two bickering about? This fucking sitcom or some shit? Uh, no, it's a crime drama. Finish saying your prayers? It's gonna kill all. You're all kind of dead. What? Oh fuck, Swipe, striped sweaters. The fuck you mean he brought some friends? There's still just the three of you. Just like last time. Oh, I bet when I defeat those three, it takes a little bit. It's pretty easy. Ah, uh, see, more of them showed up. Where did he came from? I oh, don't think that the old man. Yeah, I fucked so much. Are like some fucking garbage looking sweaters like all the rage in Japan or some shit in 2010? Man, I fucked him up. He said the best. I honestly don't even remember what Tanimura's new set is like. Like the third guy. Who I thought was the second guy. Push and lock the follow up uh, heavy attacks. Let's go. That was my charger. Oh, I couldn't pull off a heat move on the fat ass, even though I do have all the heat. But I am running out of health. Oh, thank you, all my health back. Well, what the fuck is that? If I just hold the triangle right like, at the beginning, I get to do some sick spin move. I think I prefer to fight people than boulders. Boulders gate. Oh, I should call this actually boulders. This is funny. Like boulders gate. Not like boulder is a mythological guy. Norse mythology, he was the bad guy in God of War 2018. They don't even pick on the old man, they only pick on him when they're close to him. And look how good of a hole he dug. It's like a, it's almost a perfect square. You sure not get stuck around digging with a pickaxe. I wish I could like pick up a pickaxe right now and just kick someone's ass with it and probably bash it down their fucking skull, crushing their spine. 
destroying them in half. Alright, we broke through the rock. That's the way, old man. Look, the path keeps going. Son of a bitch, how'd we lose to our men with our numbers? You can't win if you're done. If you're doing is thinking about the numbers. I've killed 18 men. Get the hell out of here and leave the poor old man alone. Let him live for out his dreams, you punks. We'll stop here for today. But we'll be back here after afternoon. After we drink our tea. We'll come here and fucking whoop your ass. But you better believe we'll be back for our money. And then it turns out that it's buried treasure. is just, oh, fucking no, I use tampon or some shit. Who the hell came up with that conflaborated rumor about... What the fuck kind of word is that? About there being money down here anyway. Well, I mean, it does kind of have the very treasure look, don't you think? Look, another book. Another fighting manual. Looks like it, just like the others. This one's filled with different practical techniques. Finding this many books get me thinking we might just stumble across an actual person that buried all of them. Your old man a collector of these kinds of books? Yep. No, my father was a born and breed soldier, a fearless man who proudly fought for his country. I see. And I guess these books wouldn't belong to him. Why would books about martial arts not belong to a fearless soldier? That does make some sense. So what the fuck? In either case, I can't afford to pass these up. Hope you don't mind if I take them. I don't have much I own. So can I have these books at the very least? Let's start digging the next pathway. Come back whenever you can. I'll see you at the entrance. Is there a fucking... Like a... Like a hall in the path? What is this fucking Crash Bandicoot? Oh no, it's just like a little drop. Look, he dug like one layer of wall and then there was another tunnel here. Just like already dug and everything. Also, check out this hole he dug. It's like a perfect fucking square almost. This one too. Also, I like how here he at least has like support beams and everything, and then I guess he gave up on making those. Fuck him. You know, these tunnels are sturdy enough. Who needs support beams? Pussies. Oh, fuck him. Oh, yeah, we have some points we can spend, but I don't want to spend them on food, I want to spend them on equipment. What's with all the police today? Are they on a manhunt? Um, I don't know, man. Maybe they are. All of Kamarocha has been on edge these past few days, like something bad about to happen. Every year there's some new earth-shattering catastrophe in this city. You ever gonna know peace? Yeah, fucked up, right? What about you, laid back? Kubu. So does this Yakuza tough named... Tough, tough, that's it, Yak is a tough named Nidorikawa, right? He and his pals controlled the teeter on the ground. Oh, who? I don't know who the fuck that is. They were up to all kinds of shady business down here, that is, until a couple of days ago. This guy named Akiyama just strolled in and kicked them out. He didn't look like much. Oh, I guess that was the guy. Yeah, that was the... That was the boss fight we hit against the guy with a chainsaw. Akiyama again. Saijima did heard about him. He gave him me the, he gave Midorika a kiss at the boot before any of those hooligans saw it coming. Goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover. Not all heroes were capes. Some wear trench coats and combat boots. Like Saijima, maybe. He's searching for the city's biggest info dealer, the florist, right? Yeah. Was he in the third game? I don't think he was in the third game. So what, he's in the fourth one now? And that's his name. That's what his clients call him. Anyway, it's because the info he sells gets delivered inside flower bouquets. Sounds real romantic. So how's the guy meet this florist? The thing is, no one really knows. But with all the crazy stuff that happened around here over the past few years, Seems like every time a major crisis hits the city, he uproots his headquarters and relocates. Any idea where he's planted himself now? I don't know for sure, but there is a rumor going around. I'm listening. I heard you can get his hideout to the back of the public restroom at West Park. 
I mean the joint at the north end of town. That's the one. I'd start there at West Park if I were you. Alright, thanks. Look, I found a fucking clue. No, shut up, I meant to talk to the other fellow, other gentleman. Are you looking for the underground top informant? Sure am. Well, there are plenty of rumors circulating about him. Yet the man himself is hard to pin down. He does have a number of homeless folk on his payroll. They collect intel and such. I've never met the guy, but I'm sure like to sometime. Sorry, I was trying out something. Alright, I need to go to the bathroom. I uh, will go it. I don't know. Maybe. We will go there when? Uh, we will, I promise you. There's something I could examine. What the fuck are you talking about? Where is it? Ooh, it's a key. Oh, I should have the key locator. There's probably like a million keys in these sewers and I missed all of them because I was hugging the, the fucking pipe next to me. I'm pretty sure there are like... Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, talk. I don't want to talk. I want to get the fuck out of here. What's with this dangly fucking thing? Up. No, that's garbage. I don't fucking want garbage. So there wasn't anybody selling equipment, and why is there a rat running on pipes? I could also get out, also get out from here, but I should go out somewhere where I can, where I came in. Oh, okay. Look, guys. It doesn't even have animation. Let's wait for another one. Here it comes. I can hear the train coming. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's a fucking race car. <laughs> With no animations. It's just a fucking rat. Not animated. Not even the most fucking basic of animations. On a loop, running across this fucking pipe. Well, ain't that fucking cute. Anyway, so we gotta get out of here from this angle, but there's no keys. It seems like this is the only place where I can actually exchange those stupid points I have. So fuck it, I'll get the most expensive ones. Or one, I guess. That kind of sucks. That was really cool in Yakuza 2 where you could just buy everything from the menu if you wanted, and finishing up a restaurant would give you experience. I really just liked how experience worked in Kiwami 2. Before we get out of here, you know what, fucking, maybe I'll just spend a whole episode digging tunnels. Old access tunnel. I don't know what the sewer patch would give me anything. Wait, what? I actually read how to make one in a book about 10 years back. How was it made again? Well, what I can give you is the strong looking metal I found the other day digging. Maybe you can do something with it. I bet I could make one if it fit into some kind of rod looking thing for a handle. Might find a chunk of wood ash lying around somewhere. You'll have to connect the two. I remember hearing about some kind of weapon shop in Kamurocho that will make things for you as long as you get the materials. A shop that will make a pickaxe out of super alloy and chunk of wood ash. Okay. We got the super alloy. That's great. But where do I get chunk of wood ash? I got no idea. We'll figure this shit out though. See, I was gonna, like I was saying, how we should just take this fucking whole episode underground, digging tunnels, like it's fucking Minecraft. But, no, we're gonna... 
we're gonna not do that and we gotta fucking get out of here. We got our objective, we gotta go to West Park. And the good thing about West Park, that it's really out of the way. It's in the upper right corner of the map. It's hard to run into it by accident. West Park's crapper still gotta be the northwest. So what I'm trying to say... Right, what is fucking Central Park? There are side missions. Actually, there's only one more side mission. Is that the Central Park? Uh, that's the Children's Park. I don't fucking know. There's only three parks in this game. This one's the most central out of all the non-central ones. So what do we got? Club Asia, that's a strip club. We've been there. Nothing. No, that's a hostess club. This is... No, Club Shine. Club Asia is the strip club. I don't really want to go there. I've been there already. Love and Heart, Massage Parlor, Karaoke. Karaoke, which I can't actually... Yeah, that's the thing. If you were wondering... I wonder what songs Saijima gets to sing in his karaoke. Uh, none. You know why? Because uh, Saijima, I guess, is too fucking cool to be going around doing silly bullshit like singing karaoke. So, when you go to sing karaoke as Saijima, he just says that it's not his style, and he refuses to do so. Isn't that fucking rude? What an asshole. Alright, we gotta go here, open up a bunch of shit, and activate a fucking side quest, I guess. Ah, fuck, it's that little kid. He stole my money. Oops, sorry. You little fucking yellow word, son of a bitch. What kind of place I expect to see kids running around? There's a rich man up ahead. He stole like 3,000 off of me. Wait, that bribe swiped my money. Hey, you get back here. No, get back to the rich man, he would like give you much more than that. Fucking he's gone now, really? Oh wait, there he is. Hello, excuse Oi. me, do you know the time? Oh shit, what? You wanna fight me? But I'm like fucking taller and bigger than you, the fuck? The fuck is that still? I'd love to level up, you know, like, and get myself that fucking combo follow-up. Unnecessary rolls, I know. He's the only person who I want to get in a fight with, because he gives you lots of money. Gold play- what? Ah, oh, he just gave me a fucking healing item. Fucking sucks, man. Hope you suffer longer. We only got three crates to open. Ancient steel. You can make an ancient steel pickaxe. I was kind of hoping that that one item that I had, like right in front of the old man, would actually give me uh, ash wood. Well, we ain't got any ash wood. You know, I do know how to get uh, that fucking wood, if I recall correctly, but it's a real annoyance. Did a kid big pocket run through here? Good question, but I'll need a little something before I give you an answer. Is that Chris Bill? Beat the answers out of him. I'm the one asking the questions here. If you wanted to, I could get you singing a different real, in a different tune real quick. Friends don't scare me, this is my livelihood we're talking about. You think I'm just gonna give up away valuable info for free? Looks like he ain't squealing to say I got a pony here. But really? I thought we would actually get to beat the shit out of him. Shit, fuck you. Thanks, jackass. If it's Tadashi you're looking for, he ran off towards the underground parking lot. The parking lot, huh? Wait, is this the access to the parking lot? If I'm not mistaken, the parking lot, we only been to it once. Where I like run around in circles looking up for keys and shit. It's actually... Uh, revelation here, and I believe it's that one. <coughs> what 
what you see, Seijima. It's just a black car. Looking like a Mercedes. Huh? He's an assassin. Oh god, what did I get myself into? He's gonna kill me now. Why is the steering wheel on the wrong side? Wonder if it's alright. I don't think it is. Slammed right into a wall. Got my new move. I'll slam slam my face into a wall. He carved wood. Are you fucking joking? When did he learn to do this? He always knew how to do that. Maybe he's much more artsy than we thought. Thinking If you fail, he ends up making a bear with a fish in his mouth. It's also really cute. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a fucked up move. No, that's not what he wants. He doesn't. He won't learn any bear related moves. Yeah, I straight up made a fucking wool wooden sculpture out of a move I learned. It's a really impressive sculpture, too. Sculpture? Is that the right word I'm using? Essence of bell ringing. Well, that was just one of the things I was expecting to find down here. Another thing was that annoying fucking kid. And was there anything else I was looking for in this fucking parking lot? No, I just remembered that there's a revelation here. Because in my original playthrough of it, back when I didn't realize how those revelations works, I fucked it up a lot. He's hiding in the trash. Just because the kid ran towards the underground parking lot doesn't mean that he's still in the other years. Never mind, I take it back. Three, four, five, that's a big guy. She was slim pickings. I'll be taking back the cash, you fucking jackass. What the? Hey, can't you prove this money is yours? Uh, easy now. Don't you old man ever teach you not to take what you don't fucking. Does it belong to you? Shut up, my dad's fucking dead and I have a sympathetic backstory. Fuck you. Come here, sick. I'm gonna fucking kill you now. I'm gonna fucking tear you apart and eat you. Oh, I took him to my own place. And now I'm gonna sell him to human trafficking. And make lots of money. So what's your name? I think this question is like much more involved than I... Thought. Why did I went back to my fucking house? I mean, hideout. Tadashi. Tadashi, you know. Alright, Tadashi, what's a kid like you doing in a place like this? What happened to your folk? My mom and died, got abducted by aliens. So you're all on your own? Nuh uh. I got my imaginary friends. Huh? I have a sister. My big sister, Akiko. She cute? She eating? I see, but you don't live with her. She... She's dead too. A debt collector took her right for my dad's debts. The man called her collateral. After mom and dad died, died about uh, 50 years ago, we were supposed to go on an, to an orphanage called... Um, I forgot what Kiryu's orphanage was called. But they said as long as we still have relatives, we couldn't. So me and my sister went to live with my uncle's family in the country. I don't know how your sister get taken away. My uncle might have been a rel relative, but he's no family. He and his wife sold Akiko to the debt collector. Wait, what? Last year, this man named Sakura came up from Tokyo. He told us to pay back the five million yen our dad owned. He said if we didn't have enough money, then there, then he'd take my sister for security. So your uncle just handed her over? Sick. 
Uh huh, like in a cool way. But Akiko said she didn't want to be a burden to my uncle's family anymore. And so you came all the way here to come around to hope and set your sister free. Yeah, I'm saving up the money and then, then I'm gonna buy her. I gotcha. I'm gonna kill you though. You know, I got a sister of my own who uh, recently became a murderer and, and have like a fucking insane amount of money for some reason. And she's kind of a strange femme fatale making out with the previous protagonist. Not a big sister like you have, a little yeah. sis. You do? Yeah, name's Yasuko. She was a sweet girl. We drifted apart though. 25 years in prison will do that. You don't even see her now? Yeah. Well, I've been through some stuff myself, so what's this sister of yours like? She's a precious brat like you? My sister's not a brat. She's brave and kind. I'm the brat. She looked after me under her par after her parents died. She's the best big sister, and she's the only real family I've got left. Fucking so sad. You've come a long way, boy. Boy. Found a hard way on your own. I guess. But you need money to get your sister back, yeah? Huh. Debt collector sack and fucking... <laughs> All this dialogue, yes. Uh -huh. Get it. He sounds like a nice man. He it was on a big, and that's why I'm gonna help your sister, Tadashi. Oh, I think he was talking about fucking Hamazaki. I mean it, you fucking newspaper sound son of a bitch. You look like you're fucking from a cartoon. Oh, fucking why? What is happening? Where are we going? I just wanted to finish the fucking episode. Why does Seiji make its longer episode so much? Hey, I'm looking for a guy named Tuzukoro. He here? What? Tokomokoro? What business do you have with the boss? It's none of yours, I can tell you that. Now quit being a smartass and answer me. Take a good look at who you're talking to, Gramps. Did I stutter? I, I, I here to talk to champs like chump change. Now move out of the way if you don't want to get hurt. Who are you c c calling chump? Don't you dare screw with us, asswipe. You won't be calling that shit after we kick your teeth in. You know what? At least I don't stutter during my comments there. You gotta give me that. Also, I'm trying to not do any of like unnecessary dumb fucking sounds. Like when you think about a word and just go like, oh. I'm trying to avoid that. My moves are too big for this small alleyway. Down like a fucking bulldozer. I like his shoes, but I hate the way he wears them. I knew it, you're crazy strong, big guy. Thanks for noticing. Well, at least someone appreciates me. Whoever you are, you're a dead man walking. I'm sure the boss saw everything. And he's gonna fire us. So that the car office is in there, huh? I'm going in. Hello, gentlemen. I would like a loan. To the core, I know you're in here. Show yourself. It'd be cool if this quest was connected to the previous, like all the money loan requests. The boss is a very busy man. He'll gladly listen to whatever you have to say. I already told the boys outside I ain't talking to chumps. Get in my way and you're gonna get hurt. To the core is fucking cocksuckers. Suck his cock clean. Give me this office supply. I don't know what this fucking thing is I picked up. Just give me this table. I love that the moves you do with the table are just like the most ridiculous. Can I not smash this against his face? There we go. It's just slightly smaller, but it will do the job. I love fights when there's just a bunch of shit to pick up. 
Oh, dude, it's funny. Kick in the face from a combat boost. That must fucking hurt, man. It hurts, it hurts. I told you so. That it would hurt. When the chump's ever gonna listen. Give us the girl, bitch. She must be to the coral. Yes, I am. What can I help you with today? I'd like to have a chat with you about this here boy. So this is what you call a chat? Did your parents raise you to beat people bloody whenever you wanted to talk? Yeah, pretty much. They taught me that rude ass sons of bitches deserve whatever they got coming to them. Let's see, I would ask you to re re please refrain from such behavior in the future. I don't like how he's still polite, he's like he still thinks he's got the upper hand. That all depends on your attitude. So far, it's strangely polite and professional. So, what exactly is it that, you, that brought you here today? You know, this kid, yeah? I don't recognize him through all the grime, but it's Tadashi, the boy so found of his sister. It's been six months. Have you raised the money? No, not yet. I, I hired a hitman, though. Why are you here? I'll be settling that debt. From now on, you deal with me. Yeah, because I'm gonna die anyway. So, fucking who cares? With you, I don't believe he has any relatives in this country apart from his uncle family. What is your relationship to the boy? Of his new dad? We're perfect strangers. Is that, is that gonna be a problem? On the contrary, I'm impressed. There aren't many people like you in this day, in this day and age. Good, no problems then. No, no problems. However, there's a problem. What now? My agreement with Tadashi is fucking stipulated that he would get his sister back by either paying back the 5 million or doing jobs I assigned him. If you're going to be taking over his debt though, well, that's another story. What do you mean? I don't simply take the 5 million from you in cash and I'll have you work it off. Either way it works for me, I do whatever gig you throw at me and you give back Tadashi's sister, is that the deal? No, but I won't just be just one job, you'll continue taking assignments until you've earned back every last yen for the rest of your fucking life. And I'm telling you, that's fine by me, so quit beating around the bush and start giving me jobs I can make some money on. <coughs> Very well. Suck my cock first. I'll assign you to more lucrative tasks. I like sucking my dick. You do that. Well, thanks for stepping up this. I'll contact you once I have a job lined up. I didn't get your name. Name's Suzuki. Suzuki san, is it? Alright then. I look forward to working with you, Mitsubishi san. The feeling ain't mutual. Fucking asshole, but I'll deliver in return. You better keep that promise you made. Can we finish this fucking episode? I'm sick of it. You sure about this big guy? I'm pretty sure the job he meant is really bad stuff. It's alright. I killed 18 men. Still him. Oh. Now I want you to remember this, Tadashi. There's nothing bad in the world except turning your back on someone in need. My boss taught me that. And he turned his back on me. That's why I'm gonna help you catch me drift. Uh-huh, thanks, big guy. Thank me when you and your sister are back together. Now come on, let's head home. Huh? But I don't... I've got no place to go, right? Stay at my hideout. It's a perfectly safe space with only the safest people around. You know, a bunch of homeless degenerates. Got plenty of room for you. You know, all the homeless people in this in these games are always like the nicest, most wise people, most reliable people you meet. Why are they homeless then? Okay, just let me get my stuff first. Go on ahead, big guy. I'll see you there. Ah, oh, well, alright. Oh, ho, before it gets too late now. I will. Now, oh, yeah, here. I found something for you. I got a chance, so I'm gonna enchant something. Thank you for the piss rock. Catch you later, bitch. What a rude fucking child. You know what I noticed when I was taking thumbnails of Seijima walking away from Haruka in that one cutscene? I noticed that immediately when he turns around from Haruka, 
he like when he talks to her and reveals his real name to Haruka, he's got this like smile on his face and he looks kind of nice. But then immediately when he turns around to face the camera, fucking can't be serious. He just gets this like really angry for some reason. I don't know, understand why. He's set on his fucking journey, you know. This is why I hate this fucking spinny move on objects. Why the fuck do I gotta spin? If the enemy is on the ground, I can't fucking hit them. It's so stupid. I don't believe we have any one level skills yet. Oh, cutie saw all that. Did I impress her? Look the way. I think we got all the white. I mean, all the one level. I don't have as many taunts, that's good, because I don't like fucking taunts. I have a lot of those skills. Huh. Charge and tackle. Oh, I can't actually unlock anything here. That's the one I'm gonna fucking unlock. Alright, you know what, I'm saving up for that one, because it's, it's a ridiculously powerful move. And I've gotta have it. So I'm gonna be saving up for that four level, level four move. But for now, I'll see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.